Uh, I want to ask a simple question. How many of us here really, really love maths? One, two, three, five, ten, that's it? In an audience of 500? I assume this. The situation wouldn't be any better if you go outside the auditorium or if you go to any country and ask the situation. Today, we're facing a global concern for mathematics. Maths is in a crisis. Our children simply cannot do maths. It's as simple as that. They cannot do maths, be it the United States, the United Kingdom, South Africa, Middle East, or even India. We cannot do maths as a generation. So I was a practicing mathematician for the last 10 years, and I looked into something called Vedic maths. Vedic maths comes from Vedas, and it is apparently the world's fastest mental math system. Through Vedic maths, one can calculate really, really fast when compared to the traditional system. Vedic math was founded by an Indian scholar named Tirthaji, and he wrote a book about it in the early 20th century. So let's come together for the next two, three minutes and do some Vedic math and try to change the world. 32 times 11. 32 times 11, how do we do this through Vedic maths? What we do is step one. We separate three and two, that gives us something like this, and we simply add three and two. So the answer becomes 352. It's as simple as that. Why don't you try? 18 times 11, okay? Try 18 times 11, all of you, and we're gonna do this together. The answer becomes 198, exactly. Let's do some simple squaring. And you know, in a German magazine called Vedic Maths, the Kama Sutra of Mathematics. <laughs> because anybody from anywhere can come and practice it. <laughs> so let's do some simple squaring. We got 35 square or 35 times 35. So what we essentially do is we got three. What comes after three? Exactly. And we multiply three and four together. That gives us 12. That's the first part of the answer. And we simply square five. That gives us 25. So our exact answer becomes 12, 25. Take another sum. Try to do it mentally. 85 square. We got eight. What comes after eight? and five square. So you multiply eight and nine, that gives you, and then five square is 25. So seven, two, two, five. High speed multiplication. We all know the answer to this, eight times seven, is no rocket science. Uh, but doing this in Africa would create a lot of problems. Children would actually draw eight circles, again eight circles, again eight circles, and then count the 56 circles seven times and give you the wrong answer of 54. That, that's how bad the situation is actually, you know? So let's do this the Vedic maths way. Okay, eight and seven are both nearest to 10. Is eight above 10, below 10? Below by how much? So we got negative two. And seven is below 10 also by? So you got minus three, right? So we go crosswise, we subtract crosswise, so 8 minus 3 gives us 5, which is the first part of the answer. And we can multiply 2 and 3 together. That gives us 6. So the answer becomes 56. So we can extend this rule, which is called the base method, to a sum called 98 times 97. Let's do this together. Is 98 above 10, below 100? Is 98 above 100, below 100? Below by how much? So we got minus 2. And 97 is below 100 by 3. So we got minus 0, 3. So 98 minus 0, 3 gives us 95. And 0, 2 times 0, 3 gives us 0, 6. So a big problem like this can be solved in a matter of few seconds, making maths easier. So the question apparently happens is, why should the world learn Vedic maths, a mental maths technique, when we already have calculators? Well, the research has shown that excessive use of calculators atrophies the brain. And that's why in the UK, the British government has withdrawn calculators from the school system. 
so that an entire generation can have good math skills. So I was just thinking that why can't we all come together as a group, as math teachers, students, teachers, policy makers, we can all come together and make a difference. That instead of making math with the children love to hate, why can't we have maths with the children love to learn? Thank you.